Hello all, just thought I'd show you my new setup. Been running now for four weeks. So far, so good. Zero nitrate, zero phosphates. I upgraded this or to this from a 96 litre Kemp Bio Reef. Great little tank, but a little bit restrictive. This is 396 litres. It's a four foot by two foot by two foot. I shall run through with you how I've got this set up. Pretty basic early days. But like I say, running very well. Filtration wise, or oh, by the way, if I do mention any brand names, it's for no gain. Just to let you guys know how I've got this set up. So inside we've got a Eheim 350 surface skimmer. At the back corner there we have a Aqua One 700L internal. That was bought mostly just to keep the water crystal clear. May not look so but at the moment but they've just been fed. The main filtration though is a homemade sump. That's being fed by an overflow box it seemed a lot easier than drilling that's running down into my sump as you can see nothing particularly fantastic it's just an 80 litre storage container I've put it inside two others the same size that's just to give it a bit of support in there all I have at the moment is some filter wool. The heater is in there. That's a 500 watt Shogun. It's got an LED display. Pretty useful. And then the return pump, which is a 2,500 litre an hour pump. Inside, I've got my water movement by way of a Two, two and a half thousand litre an hour wave maker and a one thousand litre an hour wave maker the lighting is a Arcadia stretchy LED been really pleased with this pretty cheap just held on there by the brackets you can see but it's lighting my tank up pretty good I may add another one at some point inside I added about 20 kilos of aragonite sand from my old tank to this I've had to add another 25 kilos of aragonite sand plus about 20 kilos of coral sand live rock I had about 10 kilos in my old tank I've added maybe another 12-15 kilos I do plan to add a lot more that will also go into my sump as well so that's a bit of biological filtration I'll be putting a decent skimmer on as well at some point as I said, no real problems up to now. Phosphates and nitrates are zero. Livestock wise, I added my two perculas from my old tank, plus my Caribbean red tail trigger, all doing fine since the move. To this, I've added my powder blue tank. The Mandarin, as you can see in the corner, a Moorish Idol, eight chromises, and also a small Regal tongue, all doing perfectly well, feeding really fine. There's also a Scooter Blenny in there, he's doing fine, even though it's a new tank, I've made sure I've fed those really well the mandarin and the scooter blender it's caused me no problems up to now doing really well 
the stand, one I made myself, it's got about 10 heavyweight support struts, wooden, plus inside there there's some breeze blocks, probably didn't need them but never can be too safe, it's holding a lot of water, a lot of weight. I think that takes you through my basic setup. Any questions or comments, be pleased to hear them. As I make upgrades, I shall keep you informed and show you them. Obviously, there'll be some to the filtration, a bit more live rock. Bit more livestock. I'll see you all soon. Bye.